Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can disable updates for specific plugins. So here you can see new updates are available for this plugin. But now we have disabled the updates and notifications. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now, to disable plugin updates, we need to log in to our dashboard. We are already logged into our dashboard. Let me go to plugins. You can see this plugin has a new update. We are currently using version 1.01, .01, but the new version is 1.03. So we will disable updates for this plugin and as well remove the notifications. To do that, we need to use some codes. Here is the code we are going to use. Let me open it. So basically, this code will disable plugin updates and remove the notification as well. This code will notify that the auto updates are disabled for the specific plugin. Anyway, let me copy this code. Go to Appearance and Theme File Editor. Go to Theme Functions. Scroll down and paste the code here. Please note, we need to change this plugin folder and plugin name in this code. To get that on Plugins, right click and click on Inspect. Click here, hover over the plugins and click on it. And find the data plugin. This is the one. Double click on it and copy it. And on our code, replace it in three places. All done. Now update file. Let me refresh this page. Our code should remove plugin update notifications. This should be disabled. And this one will also be gone. Let me refresh this page. So you can see auto updates are disabled. We are still in the old version and notification one is also gone. You can actually only use this top code if you remove the second code and update. Let me open plugins. We are still in the old version. Only this portion will be empty. Earlier it notified that auto updates being disabled. So you can either use single or both codes as you like. But please do remember to change the plugin folder and plugin names. And if you want to update this plugin, simply remove the code. Update file. So now everything will be back to default. We hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.